Ladies and gentlemen, over 50 crore Indians use Patanjali products. Established by Acharya Balakrishna and your Guru Ramdev in 2006, the Ayurved company has come a long way. From toothpaste to edible oils, Patanjali has made its way to Indian homes like a storm. Positioned on the plank of Ayurveda and the goodness of natural ingredients, it prides itself on being a homegrown brand that offers its products at least 15 to 30 percent cheaper than its competitors. And to add more to its kitty, it has Yoga Guru Ramdev. We've seen him stretch, do push ups. We believe he's in idea that yoga se hi hoga, etc., etc. So we end up believing in the brand that he's co founded. For example, if a 2017 survey was to be believed, then 43% of Patanjali households bought at least three category products. A 2016 survey said that 8 out of 10 Patanjali products and customers are actually repeat customers, which means 80% people come back to buy Patanjali products. Their ghee was a rage. The products were very well promoted. Ramdev had mastered the art of advertising, good or bad. Patanjali, in fact, is one of the biggest advertisers on TV. According to a 2023 report, in August last year, Patanjali was the third highest advertiser in TV news ads. That includes toothpaste, ghee, also Ramdev's infamous COVID cure. These ads are splashed across every mainstream news channel. However, the advertisements have once again brought Patanjali big trouble. The Supreme Court has come down very heavily on Patanjali for its misleading advertisements. This is coming after the Indian Medical Association filed a petition saying that several of its ads allegedly misled people and projected allopathy and doctors, allopathy doctors in poor light. Now, the Supreme Court of India has banned Patanjali from advertising any product related to disease or other medical conditions. The top court has also issued a contempt notice against Patanjali and its director, Acharya Balakrishna, saying that they have prima facie flouted court orders. There's something for the health ministry as well. The apex court has also pulled up the union health ministry for not taking action in a case of misleading and false advertisements by Patanjali Ayurveda. The court has also said that the entire country has been taken for a ride but the government is sitting with its eyes closed. The Supreme Court has now asked the Health Ministry to monitor the situation and has called for immediate action. Now, if you remember, the Supreme Court in November last year had cautioned Patanjali against making false and misleading claims in advertisements about its medicines. A quick chat with my guest this evening. It's not going to be a long one. Dr. Jailal is a former national president of the IMA joining us on the broadcast. And Dr. Amrit Raj is director at the Arogya Dham retreat. He's joining us on the broadcast as well. Uh, good evening to you and thank you very much. Uh, Namaskar. Dr. Raj, I'm going to start with you. Namaskar ji. Aap se shuruwaat karna chahungi, Dr. Raj. Ah, Essentially, please, Dr. Raj, aaj jo Supreme, aaj jo Supreme Court ne Patanjali ke baare mein bola hai. Wo ye hai ki sirf unke advertisements misleading to the hi the. Wo apne consumer se jhoot bol rahe the. Jab wo bol rahe the, main covid ka cure kar dunga, main har cheez ka cure kar sakta hu, diabetes ka bhi cure kar sakta hu. Wo sab jhoot tha. Baba Ramdev jhoot bol rahe the. Aaj Supreme Court ne mota mota ye baat boli hai. Ham isme kehna chahenge. Ye Patanjali brand ke liye setback hai ya nahi hai? Ne isme ham ye apko bolna chahenge jo science hai that is for the welfare. And as an Ayurvedic doctor, we believe hmm. in integration. Or if any Ayurvedic product, hmm. uh, any consumer use kar raha hai, they should use it under the guidance of an Ayurvedic practitioner. So, Ayurved may hmm. be modern investigations ke liye kaha jata hai. Or saath hi saath, jo bhi cheez aap kar rahe hai, hmm. yoga bhi agar aap kar rahe hai, to that should be done under the expert advice of a yoga expert, yoga acharya. And Ayurvedic Haan. Protocol bhi agar aap follow kar, kar rahe hain, so that should be done also under the guidance of a qualified Haan. Ayurvedic doctor. So Ayurveda is meant for hmm. the welfare of human Nei, beings. It is preventive and curative as well. Okay, as Dr. Raj, I, I, I understand the point you're making. I understand the point yes. you're making, Dr. Raj. But the fact is that Patanjali advertised, like if you have coronal without any doctor consultation, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. 
are you someone who recommends for example patanjali products to your uh, to, to your patients no i will say ki some of the products are very good and what i will say ki jo ayurved mein hum log suggest kar rahe hain that should be done under the provision of a ayurvedic doctor aur science jo hai usme usme protocols hain science is meant for uh, you know preventive and curative ayurved bhi ek science hai and allopathy bhi i have been in some of the medical colleges where they believe in integration at the end it is all about controlling the sugar hmm. levels controlling the cholesterol or having a healthy body healthy mind and healthy body तो इसमें हम यही कहना चाहेंगे ठीक है ठीक है सो इसेंशियली यू आर सेंग डोंट बी ब्लाइंड Don't yes. believe everything you see in a Patanjali advertisement. Anyway, now so they can't even put out these advertisements. Not just Patanjali, I am saying any. And if any, you any are to use any, one minute, one minute. And if Ajit. you are to use any product, you are saying, do Ajit. it under the guidance of an Ayurvedic doctor, Doctor Jayalal. Very well. As someone Ajit. who was on the other side of this fight, Doctor Jayalal, as someone who was on the other side of this fight. what do you make of what the supreme court has said and done today and i want to ask you realistically do you think it will have any impact on brand patanjali and people who consume ramdev's products no first of all we are not uh, individual based or for a particular company or particular thing but when there is a yeah, advertisement is coming when the act of the indian government very clearly says in mm-hmm. objectionable remedies act but you cannot advertise some uh, for some drugs with regard to diabetes hypertension mm-hmm. and the liver disorders mm-hmm. when somebody is disobeying that order when somebody is blatantly putting a mm-hmm. wrong advertisements in the paper and if no action is taken by the government we wanted to bring that to the notice of the government so we have mm-hmm. done our job of bringing that to the notice mm-hmm. of the government and also we since there was not much of action we have brought it to the notice of the supreme court supreme court in its sense and uh, it has taken mm. a now very very uh, right decision that anyone who want to advertise on uh, any drug and there must be some proof or some there must be something which is evidence based and it should be beneficial to the people and uh, nobody can uh, overthrow mm. the uh, extraplis act of the advertisement so uh, we 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 just have done our duty of bringing the truth to the knowledge of the people and mm. we it is our responsibility as an organization which is interested in the welfare of the country and definitely we will dr jailal can i ask you if you have a problem dr jairam can i jailal can i ask you then whether you have a problem with patanjali and ramdev or with ayurveda absolutely we do not have any problem with neither ayurveda neither uh, ramdev it is not our uh, issue at all it is a issue of science it's not a issue of personality uh. or issue of uh, with any system in fact we respect all our indian system they okay. respect ayurveda medicine and it has done okay. human job to our country but okay. our question is in the name of uh, sub our system and we should not mislead the people we should not make the people for uh, our own trade interest or our own business interest we should not distort the truth which is mm. to the people when when i say that uh, when uh, when a people with the okay. respect says that you take this and you will be cured of all this this is and it is uh, it is in this 21st century of the science and it is totally absurd and that is what we wanted to give an impact so we okay. have done our job on the science okay basis, i think you have proved your system. point in the court okay okay so you're saying you're not against ayurveda and i think uh, ladies and gentlemen all of you who are watching uh, again ayurveda has done human service in this country uh, there are lots of people who believe Uh, that ayurveda is actually better than allopathy you can pick and choose what you want to but here's i think what is important is what dr amrit has said today that don't close your eyes and blindly believe whatever is told to you if a patanjali ad tells you that you're going to be cured of diabetes don't believe it ask a doctor ask a ayurvedic pra- practitioner be- before going and buying it even if you have to buy it even if you have to use it even if you think it will work for you at least consult an ayurvedic doctor that's the way to go forward we we'll leave it there for the moment thank you very much dr jalal for joining us and thank you very much dr amrit for joining us as well uh, ladies and gentlemen with that i'm stepping into a break my colleague shreya padhyay joining you at the top of 9 with all the day's top stories do stay with us